City Post. TV. Waganda wagamba anti asiko bulamu no mukono tasa. Former aspirant of Namisindwa Bobulo East Member of Parliament on the National Unity Platform ticket and National Unity Platform lead lawyer, Antony Wameli is dead. Antony Wameli is a Ugandan politician, a senior lawyer at Wameli and Company Advocates and Solicitors, Kampala, Uganda, a businessman and a human rights advocate. Antony Wameli Yobo was born in Namisindwa district, Bugisu sub-region in the eastern part of Uganda. Wameli attended Kamocha Islamic Nursery and Primary School, then went to City High School, Kololo, from where he proceeded to Busoga College and Tororo College for his O-level education. Wameli then joined Uganda Matters High School, Rubaga for his A-level education. He was then admitted for a Bachelor of Arts in Education degree at Makerere University where he attended for only two weeks. This was because his mother, who was then a secretary at the School of Education, had a dream one day in which she saw a big word, justice, and this was when she asked him to switch from education to law. He was then admitted for a bachelor's degree in law at Makere University from 2000 to 2004, and after which he proceeded to the Law Development Center in Kampala. He also got a certificate in international human rights and good governance from Copenhagen Business School and a master's program in domestic human rights at Makere University. His work experience, Anthony Wameli, is the founder and managing partner of Wameli and Company Advocates, a legal firm which began in August 2008, which employs eight advocates and has nurtured over 300 advocates through internship and practice. Wameli has served as a lawyer for over 13 years with a wide range of experience, including representing suspects with high profile cases like terrorism and treason. He served as a magistrate grade one in the chief magistrate's office of Nakasongola for about three years, from September 2009 to April 2011. He retired and embarked on his legal practice to focus on his law firm, something he did best. <laughs> Wameli is a general practitioner but has a bias in constitutional law, human rights defense, high profile criminal defense, and land laws. Sometimes you would find him in the magistrate's court, in the labor court, and by the time he took up your case, you would be speaking the same language. By the time Wameli completed university, he was born again, very prayerful and religious man. He was involved in Christian Gospel Mission in Tororo after university. As it turns out, Wameli did not look for a job after his bachelor's in law. He was called for a job at a law firm in Kampala while in Tororo on a Christian Gospel Mission. He left Tororo and came back to Kampala and met a gentleman called Lutiba Daniel who had called him for a job a very wonderful man with his wife Patricia, as he describes them. Serving as an attorney was not enough for a male. He always thought of becoming a judicial officer. Two years after he had graduated, he applied as an advocate at the High Court of Uganda while working with his company, Wameli and Company Advocates. He received a text message from the Judicial Service Commission inviting him for an interview after which he was offered the magistrate's post. His dream to serve as a lawyer continued to haunt him. He however did not have any regret while serving as magistrate. His admirations for senior laws have seen him handle high profile cases. Wameli always made sure that his clients could commit themselves to him as their lawyer. Wameli's legal practice 
was not only about earning money. If it was, he would be very rich. But in some cases, he did it to deliver justice to the needy people in the country, to help them get justice. Apart from legal practice, Wameli was a gospel preacher who liked performing Christian ministry work, mostly at Ebenezer Christian Fellowship Church in Kanyanya. He has been the National Unity Platform lawyer. He and others have represented and we are currently representing National Unity Platform jailed supporters. Wameli was the lead lawyer representing Robert Chagulanyi Sentamo, a.k.a. Bobby Wine's election petition case, filed to the Supreme Court seeking nullification of President Yoweri Museveni's victory on the 14th January 2021 polls. Known for being a human rights lawyer, Wameli shot to the limelight several years ago when he represented suspects accused of killing the late Assistant Inspector General of Police, Andrew Felix Kawesi. Mr. Wameli was currently representing the alleged rebel leader of the Allied Democratic Forces, Jamil Mukulu. He was also representing former presidential candidate General Henry Tumukunde's treason case. Olive Wameli is Anthony Wameli's cool. wife and together they have three sons. Wameli passed away in the United States where he had been receiving treatment since mid 2021 but in may 2021 the former nakasongola grade one magistrate was admitted at saint anthony's medical center in kasangati wakiso district because of issues with his stomach he was brought to the hospital in critical condition joffrey turiam sima wameli's closest friend subsequently revealed to the media that wameli had been suffering from severe peptic ulcers for weeks which could have aggravated his condition he was moved to Kampala a few weeks later and then flown to the United States to Boston Medical Center in Massachusetts where he reportedly received a stage 4 cancer diagnosis. Chivumbi Michael, Saka Ibrahim Natiti, City Post TV. Therefore, the fact that uh, we are made nations and uh, we are trained independence at different times. Galiwango Hassan Waswa was born on the 25th of October 1958 in Mbale Main Hospital. He was the son of the late Haji Mohamed Galiwango and the late Hajat Zam Nantume. He grew up in Dokosel, Namatala Ward in Mbale district and that's where he's lived all his life. For his education, he joined Kanginima Primary School in Kadokone, currently Butebo district, in the early 1960s where he finished as the best candidate in and the whole of Bukedi region. And remember the historical distinctions. For his O level, he joined Kawangasi Senior Secondary School, and for his A level, he joined Masaba Senior Secondary School. He later then joined Nyondo Teachers Training College, where he graduated as a primary school teacher. He was one of the pioneer students of Islamic University in Uganda when it opened in 1988. At Islamic University in Uganda, he graduated with a bachelor's degree of arts in education. He immediately enrolled for a master's degree in public administration in the same university. He graduated with a first class degree and in 2005, he enrolled in the Nelson Mandela Metropolitan University, South Africa for a PhD in public administration, which he completed in 2007. His teaching career. He started out as a primary school teacher in Namatala Primary School in 1978. He was then appointed as the inspector of schools in Kapchora district in the early 80s. He was then promoted to district education officer of Kapchora in the same period. In the late 1980s, he joined Makerere Institute Center for Continuing Education, Mika, as a teacher until the early 1990s. 
In 1993, he established Mbale Progressive Academy, which later became Mbale Progressive Secondary School, currently one of the best secondary schools in the district of Mbale. Musaro, Paulo. Ya musomesa, paka anafuna diploma, degree, era na muovu edmaster, era katisawe ni edmaster, kuprogressive kusomero liyo mwami onafu. On 1st February 2007, he became a lecturer at Islamic University in Uganda in the Faculty of Management, Department of Public Administration. In August 2008, he became the head of department public administration and in the same year he was appointed as the internal examiner of master's students in public administration between 2011 and 2017 he lectured students of masters in public administration on a part-time basis between 2008 and 2015 he was also a lecturer of public administration at international university of east africa Sige na kwe sabi gambo vingi. Nenda kwa gerechi mungu. Nti chenda vyo kudokita kwe kiririzamu. Kwa agaliza na kubeira mtu mlamu. In his political career, he served his political journey as the LC3 chairman of industrial division in 1996. He was then appointed as the resident district commissioner of Mbale district in 1999. He was later transferred from Mbale to Zimbabwe and then later to Masindi between 2002 and 2005. In 2006, he contested for the parliamentary seat of Mbale district where he lost as runners-up. In 2010, he was appointed as the Director of Mobilization, Recruitment and Cadre Development of the National Resistance Movement. On top of that position, he was also appointed as the Director of Finance and Administration of the same party in 2011. He held both positions until his resignation in 2020. In 2021, he was appointed as a High Commissioner of Uganda to Nairobi, Kenya, and a few months later he was also appointed a High Commissioner of Uganda to the Seychelles, and he has held both positions till his death. In other ventures, in 1979, he was one of the founders of Mbale Islamic Youth Club where he served as the Secretary General. He was the Secretary General. He was the Secretary for Religious and his late brother Kato. Between 1997 and 2001, he was the chairman of Mbale Heroes Football Club. During that same period, he was appointed as the national treasurer of FUFA, which is the Federation of Uganda Football Association. He is also the protagonist of the Galiwango Foundation, which has done a lot of humanitarian work for decades not only in Bugisu, but also in the surrounding regions. His foundation has championed the construction of mosques, scholarships of students, financial aid to the poor and needy, medication to the sick. Many parents in the region have educated their children for free in his schools. <laughs> Senior <laughs> 
era emikolo jonna ejigenze jibawo yabadde omusale mujjo his death Dr. Galiwango's health started declining in 2011 when he was diagnosed with diabetes and heart problems. For over the past decade, he has received a plethora of treatment in various hospitals like Nakasero Hospital, Mulago Hospital, Platinum Hospital, and Aga Khan Hospital. Uh, tuzule obuzibu obuliwo okuvira dala mu mwaka gwa 2012 mu 10 twali ku mirimu ya jechibina emirimu emitongole je baita district conferences na afuno kololanga kwa amanyi ne tuloza anti chifuba bichi ne tugeza ako ne tugula buli nage na mudwaliro mu bantu abachogera mwalimu ne mwami right honorable former prime minister amama ambabazi Namugamba genda okoletes of all the internal organs and so on. Katine tuchizula anti doctor yalina amainja mupunctuous. Katibwe tuchizula ngafwebe bulwade betukola chi? Era ne tukola ante kateka mu mwaka gwa 2 10 10 nesatu kugena Nairobi bakole chi? Bwetu tuke Nairobi mudwaliro. Doctor yali agenda okola mlimo ogu. Na agama, mm, nenda, katukole check-ups. Na akola check-ups, ezi suka mutano. Weyazuli ranti doctor, alina sukari, ainobu luadebu omutima, nechibumba, chiri, chiri getting affected because of diabetes and the heart problem. Katina agana, echiru unji, intibidi kustaji nunji, tujja kusobola kubijanja ba era ba amukala operation yo mutima mu 2017 however his condition worsened on the 10th january 2023 and he was airlifted to aga khan hospital in nairobi kenya while in the hospital he was put on life support in the intensive care unit because most of his organs had stopped responding to treatment katiruno echa echa vudeko obuzibu buno Doctor, ngena kuzo mwezi asatu. Abili mwenda. Yagende wa doctor we, doctor yeku. Doctor yeku na amu kemela, na amu gamba, o ina mazi mumubiri. Gegali ingide mumutima, yeso ngaluachi, olimunafu. Neka tuga draining emu, netugenda na amu wechitanda. Wa amu wechitanda, Nebabu kolako, wa doctor. Doctor na mgamba, all is good. You can move. Nga bako ze tese, zitalizimu. Doctor, na avayo, na daya waka. Boya maro kufune echo kulia, na echo kunywa. Na avela, sawa bili, satu, nya. Alaba TV na abazu kulu. Boya bazu wera sawa nya, ne daikanga kumi. Na imuka na agena mchisengi. Ne agendo okudo kufa mchisengi. Nga siyo olia vude mudira ato kugena mchi, mchi senge. Um, kati, bachara bange, chenjo gede si chavu siramu, neenga ate baba bachara bange. Baramu bange, bachara, dok, bachara ba doktor, doktor gali wango, neba kube simu. Nga ba ngamba nti muganda wako zechi, atabuse. Nemba gamba mkubirani, mkubire doktor. Nibanga doctor tumazo okogera na ya tugame tugende mu Heart Institute. Ne nyimuka ne tugera mu Heart Institute. Ne bamuwe kitanda that is Tuesday night ne tubera kitanda doctor ne bakola whatever it is cut problem kwolo pressure ye ya kanyo yafuna low blood hypertension. On the 16th January 2023, Dr. Hassan Waswa Galiwango passed on at 7.30 a.m. at the age of 64 years. Nenga bo manyinti, Allah, baba akole nso nga haita mubintu binji. Nefe tuwebaza uwebaza. Kubanga walu waba ine miti mangabacha aliwo. Walu waba ine uchibumba, nenga bacha akola ji. 
His body was flown back to Uganda on the same day and he will be buried on the 17th January 2023 at his ancestral home in Jami. Dr. Hassan Waswa Gariwango grew up in an extended family of 19 children and was the fifth born. Out of the 19, he was among the only five who were still alive. His death means that only four of his siblings are left. He had three wives and a total of 12 children. Two of his children are deceased. He has also left behind 14 grandchildren. Chivumbi Michael for City Post TV. Fahima Namuevia, aged 15, was born in a Mogal like any other child. She would play and attend school normally, but her dreams of being a doctor have since been shattered by an illness that has deformed her mouth. <laughs> The illness started in 2016 but has persisted to date. At the age of seven, Fahima, a resident of Nakaloke in Mbale City, started experiencing a swelling around the mouth and she was taken to a clinic for medication but the situation kept on intensifying. <laughs> That's she was later taken to Mbale Regional Referral Hospital for a surgery, but the condition has never changed. Fahima, a girl who was jolly, according to her mother, Birunji Aziza, has now become disabled and unable to do anything on her own, and that she has since stopped schooling because of the condition. After the second surgery, which didn't yield good results, at Mbale Regional Referral Hospital, Fahima was referred to Mlago National Referral Hospital for further management. The mother says that at Mlago, she was again operated the third time and that the doctors told her that her daughter could be having cancer, but they could not confirm it to her. <laughs> She says that after the third operation, it seems as though she was healing, but the condition worsened when she had just joined secondary school.
Nika tuwala na karo kesezi. Nesu mayo mwezo ugu. Nechibe ranga cheba gobi. Nechifugu tukayo. Kati awane mbura magezi. She was then taken to Mlago Referral Hospital for the fourth surgery. Ilanga ina kumuzayo. Mlago. Nemuzayo. Sawa, sawa, nebe kala kasa kawa, ni ngambo wae, mkono gumu. Ugo ya gala chino, waka waba anja, chino chia, chieta agisa. Birunji says, it hasn't been an easy task to manage her daughter's illness. Noting that she has sold almost everything her late husband, who died in 2014, left, and that she has been surviving at the mercy of good Samaritans who have helped to finance the medical bills of her daughter. Mm. Fahima's mother is now seeking for well wishes to support her to have her daughter well, and she returns to school, whom she says is a very clever girl. Fahima says that if helped, she will be able to pursue her dreams of being a doctor and be able to help other people who are in need. Chivumbi Michael and Kirinya Ayub for City Post TV.
Tuesday Post. Victims of the August 2022 massive flooding in Mbali city in eastern Uganda are still struggling to cope up with the situation. The floods that hit the city and the district left over 20 people dead and thousands were displaced. The most affected areas, according to the report, include Nkoma, Bofumbo, Namabasa, Bukonde, Namanyonyi, Chibagala, in Mbale City Northern Division and Bugema, Namatala, Maluku, Marare, Mabanga, Musoto, Masanda, Doko and Nasenyi in Industrial City Division, where several people's houses were left submerged in water. Memories of the deadly floods have remained on the minds of the survivors who continue to struggle to cope with the situation. Nakuan Bella <laughs> At the circle Gaye Kalikulia <coughs> Wambede Abdallah, who is a resident of Naloka Cell Bumboi Ward in Mbale City Industrial Division, his house is among the many that were washed away by the heavy downpour. Everything in the house it was demolished. I didn't get anything from the house. He continues to take shelter at the neighborhood since he has never managed to reconstruct a house. So I just see, I just see risk to myself from the neighbors. Mambede says he lost all the household property to the floods. The situation was somehow not simple, but of course, according to the situation, I just endured. Since August 2022, it is now that he has decided to renovate the damaged house because his host asked him to leave. So the, they just gave me a sitting room where I'm now living. I don't have any fund. So I'm just, the, the little I get, we eat some and some I just renovate here, slowly, slowly. Mwanje Musa, 
a farmer dealing in Nasare Bay transportation alongside River Nawionga, said the floods swept away everything he had, including his Nasare Bay, which made him to suffer with losses, despite the much money he had just invested in the business. Matabanga we gaja, embera yalimbi nyokubanga tuwali tutegese evintu, biona vya agenda, vya mkaitusi, guruferia, nge vintu vya Nasare Bay, nge tupanga. He notes that they have since then pleaded with government authorities for help in vain okude ngulu ya kunyumiza ntino nze wendi wanondi msajja mulimi echanze ngulu nga atuse wano incident nge gudeo na gamba katonda akoze ntia embere ne atuse okubanga na family ewakana nayo family ya bantu ngaba nakusuka yo atena nange mabega waliwa abantu nulira nganze Despite the losses he suffered, Manje says, the flood opened up his eyes, never to rely on one source of income. Sizo ni yemu anya ite tena tena wa kutuka, matapa wa gaji jajira wa mwezo wa bagu wa ligwa msambu wao. Ni yentu nwa mbusuku, ni yengamba, ah, na yenze, nko ze yentu yoku malako, ni ni mbele eno. Ni yengena, ni yaya yaya yu, ni yentu maya matoka, o ni bogo ya, doza na jemi mtuwa ronga kumine itano. Shaban Wakayeka, a resident of Busamaga Ward wants government to forcefully evict all people residing near riverbanks and wetlands. He, however, advises that the affected people should be compensated in order to resettle in safer areas. Asad Hauha, the vice chairperson of Naloka Cell, said his residents lost everything they had, including their gardens, leaving them in absolute hunger and poverty, noting that they are now struggling to find what to eat and other basic needs. How how wants the government to provide the victims with seeds since they are basically farmers and the planting season is approaching. Who's our government? If we get the thing, we are going to be able to get the people 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 to Former aspirant of Namisindwa Bubulo East Member of Parliament on the National Unity Platform ticket and National Unity Platform lead lawyer, Anthony Wameli, is dead. 
Anthony Wameli is a Ugandan politician, a senior lawyer at Wameli and Company Advocates and Solicitors, Kampala, Uganda, a businessman, and a human rights advocate. Anthony Wameli Yobo was born in Namisinda district, Bugisu sub-region in the eastern part of Uganda. <laughs> Wameli attended Kamocha Islamic Nursery and Primary School, then went to City High School, Kololo, from where he proceeded to Busoga College and Tororo College for his O-level education. Wameli then joined Uganda Matters High School, Rubaga, for his A-level education. He was then admitted for a Bachelor of Arts in Education degree at Makerere University where he attended for only two weeks. This was because his mother, who was then a secretary at the School of Education, had a dream one day in which she saw a big word, justice, and this was when she asked him to switch from education to law. He was then admitted for a bachelor's degree in law at Makerere University from 2000 to 2004, and after which he proceeded to the Law Development Center in Kampala. He also got a certificate in international human rights and good governance from Copenhagen Business School and a master's program in domestic human rights at Makerere University. His work experience, Anthony Wameli, is the founder and managing partner of Wameli and Company Advocates, a legal firm which began in August 2008, which employs eight advocates and has nurtured over 300 advocates through internship and practice. Wameli has served as a lawyer for over 13 years with a wide range of experience, including representing suspects with high profile cases like terrorism and treason. He served as a magistrate grade one in the chief magistrate's office of Nakasongola for about three years, from September 2009 to April 2011. 